Hello and welcome back to Gussied Up, the home of Empowered Beauty, where the goal is to make beauty accessible to everyone. So today we are going to be doing this really interesting, ocean-inspired, Nikki Tutorials-esque eyeshadow look. Um, this is an eyeshadow look that I can say that I've never done before, the way that I've kind of blown out the colors and blended everything, so I'm super excited to show you how to finish this eye look and do it for yourself. So the palette that we're going to be using today is the Pharmacy Iconic Palette. It is a beautiful bold palette and that is going to be the base or core makeup um, that we are going to be using for this look today. So please feel free to tag along and try this look out for yourself. Let's get gussied up together. The first product that I'm going to be using is the Pharmacy Pro to Fit Eyeshadow Primer. It is a pot primer. I yesterday put on makeup without even thinking about putting on primer. And let me tell you, my eye base was completely, or like not my eye base, but my eyeshadows were completely creased, colors were disappearing, and it looked good from far away, but I could tell that it wasn't the way that I normally would have wear from my makeup. So for me, this primer is the gold <laughs> of the makeup products that I use, and I definitely recommend it. It is only like $10.90, so you really can't go wrong with it. All right, so as mentioned, we are using the Pharmacy Iconic palette, and the first shade that we're going to be using is the shade Sapphire. I am using a long-haired blending brush or buffing brush and I am just going to put this on the outside of the crease about halfway, a little bit more than halfway into the eye. and. I'm not going to pick up too much product, I'm just going to pick up what I can and then I'm going to buff it out so we don't have a super, super harsh edge. And I am going to kind of wing it out a little bit just by bringing it out and feathering it out towards the edge. Now I did say that this look is Nikki Tutorial-esque because I was inspired by the way that she puts on her eyeshadows. She does. Um, for example, what I'm about to show you with the emerald shade, um, basically what she does in a lot of her videos is she'll take two colors and buff them in at the top, which I would never think about doing. And she also brings the makeup all the way in to the crease here. Not the crease necessarily here, but she brings it into the contour of the eye. She also has a tendency to bring it really far into the bridge of the nose. I'm not necessarily going to do that, but that's why it is Nikki Tutorial-esque. Just because, again, I learned from her, so. And this is just the shade Emerald. I love how it shimmers, personally. It's one of my favorite shades in this palette. It's probably my favorite shade in this palette, besides uh, Myth. The next shade that we're going to be using is the shade Black Truffle. And for that, we are going to be picking up just a smaller tapered blending brush, definitely tapping off excess, and we are going to stamp it a little bit on the outer corner. And the biggest thing that we're going to do is we are going to bring it all the way out And I'm going to try to match the shape of the other eye. So I am bringing it relatively far in to the, um, the eye. Trying to angle it. And then if you feel like you maybe gone a little bit overboard, you can go back in with that sapphire and blend the two edges together.
and finish off with that black. Now, to get that tight line that I had, I took a makeup wipe. I bought these when I was camping. Typically, I don't like using makeup wipes because just in general, they're not great for the earth for us to be using them, but I bought them when I was camping because I needed a way to wash my face, and so these are actually just face wipes. But I'm just going to start at the edge of the eye and go all the way up. And then I'm going to take away the excess on the edge. And that is going to give us, I went a little bit high, but that is going to be our line. And there we go. So now once that dries down, I will put a liner on, but for the time being, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Glow Tulip Liquid Eyeshadow by Pharmacy. And I did, I did end up topping this with another shade, but that's okay. I'm still going to do the exact same thing that I ended up doing on this side, which is following the crease and bringing it in to match that black. And I didn't draw a very nice line on that one, so I'm just going to fill her in with that green. And then because I wasn't totally happy with that I felt like it wasn't really popping, um, I did go in with the shade Passion and I just have a little flat edge brush here or cream shadow brush and I just pick that up and tap that over the liquid shadow. And now we have a bit of a cut crease, not really, but you know. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to be using this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner in Black. And I am just going to follow this line that we created and then I'm just going to bring it in. And that is the top of the eye. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the bottom portion of the eye and I'm going to go in with the shade Black Truffle again. And now I have a flat edge brush. And tapping off excess, I am just going to tap that like a liner, stopping about three quarters. Then, going in with a smaller brush, I'm going to pick up some of that green, the shade Emerald, and I'm going to bring that into the bottom portion of the eye, and again, a smaller brush, and pick up the shade Sapphire, and marry those two together. Now for highlight, I am going to use the shade Mermaid here, and I am just going to pick up some of that and add it to the inner corner. And 
and I'm also going to use that on a small fan brush for my highlight. And to finish it off, to make sure that everything's in place, I'm just going to brush my brow hairs in place. Here we go. And for mascara, to finish off the eye look, I'm going to be using the Extreme Curl by Pharmacy. I do, with this one, like to wipe off all of the excess. And we'll go right in with that. And for the bottom lashes, we are going to be using the Zen Mascara by Pharmacy. I like using this one because it has these shorter haired bristles on one end. And I just like to wiggle my lashes a little bit back and forth. And that is the eye look. For a lipstick, I'm going to keep it really nice and soft and natural. So I'm going to go in with the shade 01, which is Mauve Pink by Pharmacy and add it to the lip. And that is the lip and eye look for today. What do you guys think? So if you like this look and you end up recreating it, please feel free to tag me at Gussied Up, that's Gussied Up with two Ps, or to use the hashtag Gussied Up Beauties. I would love to see all of the recreations that you guys make, and I thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and comment, like, the whole shebang. You know how this works. Um, but thanks so much for being here and getting Gussied Up with me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!